just checking to make sure I'm online. <laughs> okay, guys. Good morning, everybody. Sun is shining beautifully. Uh, we did get some rain yesterday evening. Uh, very unexpected, though. But that was okay. We were at the church. We were uh, getting some instructions of how to serve at our celebration dinner, which was really quite interesting. And... Uh, I was assigned to be the greeter, so thank you, Lord. <laughs> um, but first off, I want to start off with a scripture, and it is in 2 Timothy chapter 3, and it says, Preach the word of God. Be persistent, whether the time is favorable or not. Patiently correct, rebuke, and encourage your people with good teachings. For a time is coming when people will no longer listen to the right teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever they want to hear. They will reject the word and follow strange myths. But you should keep a clear mind in every situation. Don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. Work at bringing others to Christ. Complete the ministry God has given you. And that is in 2 Timothy chapter 4, sorry, chapter 4, verses 2 through 5. And that's something that encourages me to what the Lord wants me to do. It truly does encourage me. Um, there is also something that encouraged me a lot, and I'm going to add the link on the description. Some of you may not want to hear it, but I think that some of us need to hear it. Some of us mothers need to hear it because some of us mothers, we have tried to teach our children the right way to go. We have tried to teach them right from wrong. We have tried to teach them the word of God and what God expects of us. My son, who is in prison, is the one that told me to listen to it. And it's called Mama. And if I'm not mistaken, it's by illusion, but it will, the link will show you. It is a rap song, <laughs> which when my son told me, I said, eh, I don't like it. He said, no, Mama, it's a Christian rap song. He says, I don't listen to all that other stuff anymore. This is a Christian rap song, but when I heard it, Mama, I thought about you. I thought about you and me. And sometimes, you know, we have children sometimes that, we feel kind of discouraged with, not discouraged with them, but with the situation we feel like, is there ever going to be an end to this? Are they ever going to learn? Will they ever turn their life around? And, you know, I do believe prayer. I believe that in prayer, anything can change. And with my son Dakota, I used to pray all the time because he was in so much, so much. And I was afraid that what he was dealing with was going to end up killing my son. My son was going to die from the drugs. My son was going to die from the activities that he was in. He ended up going to prison for it. And sometimes prison is the worst place you could go. And then sometimes it saves their lives. It saved my son's life. Because this time around he saw that the only salvation he had, the only way he could get out of prison is to turn his life to the Lord. And as he's told me many times, Mom, I may be in a prison building, but I am a free 
person thinking I am free in the Lord. And that put so much joy to my heart. And I think that there's a lot of us, not just mothers, but fathers too, but this song is for mamas, but you know, just put daddy in it. Because sometimes it's daddy who is there praying for their son or their daughter who is the the one, the, the strength of the family. Ever since my son was born, I used to take him to church all the time. He was raised in the church. He was raised in the Word. They don't always follow it. They don't. But, you know, they, they will return. Maybe not all of them. Maybe not all of them. And that is heartbreaking. But you teach them the right way to go. And sometimes a situation happens in their life where they turn around and they say, you know, I wish I had listened to what Mama said or what Daddy said because I wouldn't be in the situation I'm in. But this song, I just wish you would listen to it. Like I say, it's a rap song, and I'm not for rap. But the words, the words just, I was in tears because so much of it was what I spoke to my son about, how I tried to encourage him, how I tried to let him know that he was so special in God's eyes and that God loved him so much that nobody could ever love him so much. I could never love my son as much as God loved my son because he gave his only begotten son so that my son my son could be with him one day yeah and I will see my son again one day no matter what we will be together either here or in heaven but no matter what we're going to be together so let me just say, listen to it. It's called Mama. And it's a rap song. <laughs> and it's even hard for me to hear the words to it, you know, very clearly because I've got only the cell phone. But uh, it, it, it just brought me to tears. It just brought me to tears because it was like listening to my situation with my son and the joy of knowing that his life has turned around. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, you know, we have to encourage one another. We do. And I try to encourage other people, not just by words, but by my lifestyle by my way, by my entire life, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And there is some ugly in my life, believe me. There's a lot of ugly in my life. But still, I'm clean now. My whole life is clean. I'm a clean person because of him. Because of his blood, he cleans me. And I'm so glad that he forgave me, and I'm so glad that he has showed me how to forgive myself, which is the hardest thing to do, God. Forgiving yourself is so hard, but, you know, he teaches us how to forgive ourselves. That's why he shed his blood, not only so that we can ask him for forgiveness, but that we can forgive ourselves as well. So until later, I love you all. Peace. And don't forget, look in the description. I'll put the link in there. Love you all. Thank you all so much for being so faithful to me and to my channel. Not to me, but to my channel. I so much appreciate you all. God bless you. Take care.